What's going on beautiful people, my name is VK and welcome back to the Phenomenal Creations channel, the channel that helps you become better at post-production workflows in Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, Fusion 16 and DaVinci Resolve just like this episode. And I'm excited to tell you that this video is sponsored by Messiah Resolve, more on that later. And I'm also excited to tell you that I'm going to show you in this video my secret sauce on applying some crazy nice looking uh, transitions and overlays to jump up and make your video productions better and more valuable and it just look that cool, just like that transition. So we're going to be talking about how you can accomplish something similar and I'm going to show you how easy it is and how much it's going to effectivize the way you work. And for this to happen, we need some help of our internet superpowers, superheroes, sorry, um, Messiah Resolve, which is a company that creates uh, packs of transitions, title packs, overlays, and other cool type of stuff. And before you start to go haywire in the comments, they're like, oh shit, another video talking about a purchasable pack, there's nothing I can learn from this to make something different today. Actually, you're gonna learn something from this, you're gonna learn how this works and also a couple extra tricks inside Resolve as a bonus tip, but you're also gonna learn uh, this sweet little fact that you have a possibility to win in a giveaway i uh, talk more about in the lay, uh, at the end of this video on how you can win uh, basically everything Messiah has to offer on their website uh, which has uh, great value uh, over 11 packs about everything I'm going to talk about today and uh, so much more. So definitely stay tuned to the end of the video so you can get your hands on on the possibility to win um, all, all these packs in a big giveaway at the end of this video. Okay, I think that's an intro enough. Let's go and jump into the first section of the four sections, which is uh, Power Beam Transitions, Fusion Transitions, uh, like uh, overlays, like Prisma Lens overlays, a secret sauce, uh, and then of course that giveaway instruction. Let's go ahead and jump into the Power Beam Transitions. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the Power Beam Transitions. The transitions you're seeing right now on the screens, uh, which have been uh, like rolling around here while I've been talking, these are these uh, cinematic camera move power bin transitions. But before we jump in how to use them, we need to talk about what power bins are. At the left side of the screen we can see the power bins, which are basically interconnected folders that is connected to every single result project you are about to create and the ones you have already created. For example, you can put there some uh, intro, some graphics, some text elements, and every time you open up a new project, you open up that power bin folder, you have everything there. So that's awesome when you install all the Messiah, these, uh, like these transition packs, they're connected to every single DaVinci Resolve project you're about to work on. Um, instead of opening separate projects and then copying files from another project to somewhere else, which is the case for a lot of different uh, Resolve styled of transition packs that the companies sell. Okay, so let's go and talk about the camera move, which is one of my favorites and the one I'm using and I'm going to demonstrate right now. To do that, let's go ahead and delete everything we have here, so we, we're starting fresh. When you open up Camera Move after you have done, went through the super simple installation process, this is pretty much what we're gonna see. We're gonna see a right panel of these Messiah logos, and then a left panel of some Fusion Transition elements. And on the right side we have like live media previews, these are just video files, uh, basically demonstrating what kind of transition you want to apply to. And the element on the left side, is that corresponding transition uh, element itself. So let's go ahead and find uh, like a zoomy type of transition. Let's go find here and we can preview this. And if, you, and if you want to know how you can preview files like this, you go to the preview window to the top right corner and have Line Media Preview selected. Then what we're going to do is, okay, I like this one. What I'm going to do is going to select that number one and then I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to select it there. I'm going to zoom in here. And the only thing we need to do is to click on this little keyframe button here to find the, the point where it's going to match the cut. So we're, we want to, the transition to happen here. Here's where the transition happens. We're going to select that, have the snap tool selected and activated. It will snap on directly. And boom, we have our transition uh, applied. Also, you can go to the right top corner and click uh, here and have show all video frames. By having this selected, you will get real-time previews when you work with this. 
And as you can see, you don't even have to have a strong computer to now get real-time previews, and these work with any type of resolution. And that's just crazy, crazy nice. And okay, so that's how you add a, basically a power bin transition. I'm going to show you how you can control this power bin transition. By con uh, selecting this layer and having your cursor on top of it, we can jump up to a fusion panel here. And let's go and find this node. And then what we can go and change the parameters of camera shake speed and the camera shake size. That's a pretty nice how you can change the speed. But then one of my favorites is this zoom point here. Where do I want this zoom to happen? Like where I want, do I want it to focus it? I want to focus it on this guy so we do get like a, like a dynamic type of transition. Let's go back to the, to the preview here or the edit panel. And now we can see that the transition is happening at the point where I put it that crosshair. That's awesome. Okay, so that is basically how the power bin transition works. Let's talk about the fusion transitions and how they work. Let's go ahead and move this to the second part of this little sequence I put together. So if we go over to effects library, uh, we can find our video transitions. And if, for example, if you probably know this, if you add a cross dissolve, you get this basic white box type of feature. And this is how you get like a basic type of transition inside Resolve. Um, the only problem is that there are not that many of them built into Resolve and they're not that good. So when you install the packs, the Messiah into power bins, you also get everything pretty much like majorly in general, you get everything down here to the uh, to also to fusion transitions. And what you can do from here is, for example, take a white move here. That's just one of them and put that right here. And now we can have we pretty much have a white move transition right there. And what we can do is can select that, go to the inspector and also change the mask size the camera shake size and the camera shake speed, for example. And then we have more control of that. So we have a lot of customizability when we do these kind of transitions. Another very cool thing that I really truly appreciate is that if you're a customer and you purchase one of these packs, um, you are getting updates for the rest of your life. So basically, if, if, if Blackmagic updates Resolve, you get up, uh, Messiah C will update their plugins and their, uh, their presets and their products so they will match with Blackmagic software so we will never have compatibility issues and they will be free for the entirety of your lifespan. That's awesome. Okay, so now we're talking about the Fusion Transitions. Let's talk about the Prisma Lens and some of the lens packs. I want to demonstrate them, them to you too. Also, let's go ahead and here go to the Media Pool. We select Prisma Lens here. And in the same manner and in the same trend as the power bin transitions, we get these overlay effects. We can find and see which one we like. I think this is nice. And then we get the corresponding element here on the left side. What we're going to do is that we can then put this on top any layer we wish, extend it how much we want to, click play, and now we get these nice light leaks. But also, we get a lot of control over them. Let's go ahead and find this light leak somewhere like here and select that. Go to the Fusion tab, select the Prisma, the, the Messiah Prisma Lens layer. And here we can open up the clone and leak settings. And from here, we can change the clone size, the clone angle, because it's getting like this light refractions and copying and this all this kind of cool stuff. And where it's positioned, the Prisma distance that also affects the like the, the refraction of these, the, the hue, the saturation. That's real cool stuff. Let's go back here, press play, and now we get these real nice light leaks happening. And that's pretty much how you can apply the, uh, these overlay elements from Messiah. But now let's go ahead and, and talk about one last thing I really dig with this is how like this little special sauce, how you can combine these to make something monstrously awesome. Let's jump in to that. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna create a monstrous type of transition. Let's go to camera move and find like a nice zoomy transition. One of these uh, zoom outs, like it's not that one. This one, that looks good. Let's go to select that one, the corresponding fusion layer. 
drag in here, take the keyframe, match that up. Let's see what that looks like. Nice and zoomy. I dig that. Then what I'm going to do is going to go in and control this uh, transition. Let's go to the fusion panel. Find the camera move. And all I want to do is move this crosshair. So we are matching, uh, like forcing the transition here at the one wheel. Back to the edit panel so we can see that the transition is now happening corresponding to that one wheel. And we get that for really quick, uh, fast playback speed. Awesome. Now let's do this even quicker and not even quicker, uh, even more awesome by adding something else here. We're going to open up the disturb glitch transition pack from here. Let's go and find the number three here. So we have different like glitchy transitions. There's a lot of cool stuff here. I'm going to select the number three here. Or number one. Now yeah, it's the number three here. Put down on top here. They're the exact same length, so they match really nicely. We can add like a little fade here. So now we have combined the glitchy transition with the zoom transition. That's pretty cool. And then we could do even one more thing. We could go to the effects library, find like a white move. Let's take the white move number three. That looks so nice. Let's put that here underneath, extend that up. So now we have a white move and a disturb layer all on top of each other. And that's just nice. And the more el like elements you have on top of each other, the more it's going to be taxing on your system. Even if you have the show all video frames on top, it can still be pretty taxing. If you have, want to have a real-time preview, uh, one way to do that is you go to the Fusion panel and give one uh, live preview here. Let's put just, let's make just a quick preview here. You don't have to do this for the single type of transition elements. Then you don't have to, but you got to understand the more stuff you, you put on top of each other, the more um, it's going to be taxing on your system. So it's just easier to have it like this. So now we have a real time preview, which is really cool. All right, that was pretty much it. That it was uh, like a really quick way to show and demonstrate what you can do with this pack. I use these daily in my productions and I really love using them. So let's go in and talk about the juicy stuff. Let's talk about the giveaway I was talking about in the beginning. So you will have a chance to win in a giveaway that I'm hosting uh, in partnership with Resolve or with, in partnership with Messiah Resolve to, create, uh, to give you guys a bundle of 11 different overlay transition and title packs all for you to download, all for you to get, but you have to get into that uh, giveaway uh, competition. All the uh, links you need is down in the description. So definitely go check out there. Uh, the giveaway will end in one week from now, so go over there. And for those who are interested to purchase these packs for you, uh, definitely check out their website. I will also leave that in the description. Use the coupon code VKPHENOMENAL and get yourself a minus 20% off everything they have on their website. That is just awesome. Hey guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to like and comment and consider subscribing if you are interested in tutorials like this in the future. Uh, hopefully guys, I can see you in the next week's uh, video tutorial. My name is VK. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you then. Ciao.